So what we are going to do is employ a method or a process called splitting traffic. We are going to tell Istio how to split the traffic instead of relying on randomly selected pods through Kubernetes service round robin algorithm and what's or not. We're going to tell Istio, look, this is how much of the traffic should go there. And this is how much of the traffic should go over there. So we are going to tell Istio how to split the traffic between the pods of the old and the new release. And to do that, we are going to deploy a few more resources. So let's take a look at this definition, a uh, host 20 YAML uh, definition that defines a few more things or over will not necessarily create only new resources, but we might want to change what we have already in the cluster. So if we go through it, we can see that there is there are a few things, two services and one virtual service. So what we are going to do is, first of all, instead of relying on a single service to forward requests to all the pods of both releases, we are going to create two services. So we are going to have a service called GoDemo7 Primary, which has um, a selector uh, labels set to app go demo 7 and the label release to primary. So the, the previous service is forwarding everything to the pods with the label app go demo 7 Now we're going to be more restrictive and the service go demo 7 primary will forward requests only to the pods with app go demo 7 and release primary. And then we are having a second service called GoDemo7 primary uh, canary, which is almost the same as the previous one, but the selector labels are this time app GoDemo7 and release canary. So through the labels, we are creating two, two services that are going to use those labels to decide uh, to which pods to send the requests. One service goes sends to the pods of the primary release and the other service to the pods of the secondary release. And then we are going to update our GoDemo7 virtual service. So what we're going to do is set two destinations in the route section. Uh, one destination will go to the host GoDemo7 Canary which is the name of the service we described above. And the critical piece of information there is weight 20. That weight is the percentage. So 20% of all the requests will be going to the Kubernetes service GoDemo7 Canary. And if we go down to the second destination, we can see that 80% of all the requests will go to the service called GoDemo7 primary. So 20% to the canary, 80% to the primary. And now we are going to apply those uh, res uh, that definition so that those two services are created and the virtual service is reconfigured or updated. Okay, now let's see what we have now in terms of resources. Everything is the same as before. We have external load balancer, gateway, virtual service, and the pods. The major difference is that we do not have this, a single service anymore. Actually, we still do have it, but it will not be used. Uh, instead, we have two services now, service primary and service canary, and the virtual service that is reconfigured with the percentages of the requests that should be sent to one service or another. Now let us send another 100 requests to the application and see what are we getting this time. So this is the same loop with the same request as before and we are getting a very similar set of responses. Uh, 
but if you pay close if if you would start counting which how many requests we got from version 001 and how many requests from version 02 we will come to the conclusion that this time a quarter actually one fifth 20 percent of the requests are responding with uh, version 02 and 80 percent of the requests are responding with the version 01 approximately it could be 21 against 79 percent but more or less 80% goes to primary, 20% to the canary release. Um, from the output perspective, it is very similar like before, but this time we are in better control what goes where, and more importantly, we will soon be in control of uh, the process of increasing those percentages, so sending more and more requests to the primary, uh, to the scannery actually, and less and less process, uh, requests to the primary. We will be gradually increasing the reach of the new release, which we call Canary. So from the networking perspective, from the requests perspective, what happened is that we sent a request to the external load balancer, load balancer sent it to the gateway, gateway figured out which virtual service should receive the requests and all that is the same as before. The difference comes after the virtual service. Since we configured the virtual service to send 80% of the requests to the primary service and 20% to the scannery service, that is what the virtual service was doing. It was splitting traffic between those two services. And services themselves are just forwarding to one set of pods or another. Unlike before, this time each service has a dedicated set of pods that receive those requests. What happens next will um, we'll depend on what we do next. But to begin with, we're going to delete what we just did. Because there might be a better way to, do, to accomplish the same result. If not better, at least a different way. So let's take a look at yet another way to do something similar uh, actually to do to accomplish the same effect but defining resources in a slightly different way we're going to delete those two um, services and the virtual service and create them again or maybe some other things we're going to see so let's output split 20 yaml uh, file what do we have there uh, to begin with, there is a, there is, there is a virtual service called, called GoDemo7 and it is basically the same service on the first look, it is the same service as before. Uh, it has different weights, 20 and, and 80. The major difference is that this time this virtual service has an entry called subset. So both destinations are sending to the same host to the same service, the initial service that forwards requests to all the pods, not only primary and canary. But the addition is the subset entry. Subset for one destination is canary and the other is primary. And the reason why we have that subset is in the existence of the new resource called destination rule. And so instead of creating multiple services, we are going to go back to the initial design to have one service that sends traffic to all the pods of all the releases, but we are going to define who gets what through the destination rule. And destination rule is also called GoDemo7 and it has the name primary and, can and the canary subset which correspond with the subsets in the virtual service. And each of those subsets is defining which labels of which pods should be matching traffic. So instead of relying on a service, different services, destination rule, uh, in destination rule, we can define which labels of specific pods 
matched by that service should receive requests. In this case, the labels are release primary and release calorie. So we're going to apply this change. And what we have now is slightly different. We have external load balancer, gateway, virtual service pods, all the same things, but we are back to a single service, Kubernetes service, and the new addition is the destination rule that defines subsets of that service or the in combined with the pods that should receive traffic controlled by the virtual service and the percentages there. So uh, let's send another 100 requests. Uh, remember, our goal is to accomplish the same what we had before, just through a more Istio friendly way using destination rules. So we are going to send 100 requests to the application. And we can see that again, approximately 20% of the requests are responding from the canary release 002 and 80% from the primary release 001. So let's see yet another graph of what is happening on request or networking layer. We have external load balancer that forwards to the gateway. Gateway decides which virtual service rec receives requests and virtual service instructs the destination rule that 20% should go to one subset and 80% should go to the other subset within that destination rule. Destination rule in turn is modifying the service and controlling the service by telling it that 80% of the traffic should go to the pods marked as primary and 20% should go to the pods marked as canary. And the service does the heavy lifting of forwarding 80% to one set of pods and 20% to another because that service is now controlled by the destination rule, which divides it into subsets and virtual service decides how many requests, which, which percentage of the requests go to each of those subsets.